Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Alright, so today I have samples that my really generous friend sent me. So I have a lot of sample to smell and I got this yesterday, but I decided to wait to do it on camera. Okay, so she sent me four different little bags. Fruity scents, Alang Alang Frangipani and Powdery, Vanilla Overdose, and Luxury Florals. Because I really, really love uh, vanilla, so I'm gonna try vanilla. Okay, so I heard so many good review about this new perfume from Pierre Goulam. It's called Dialogue with Venus. So I'm gonna try this on camera because I'm so curious what this smells like. Okay, this one smells so yummy. It smells really good. It's very different than everything I own. This is definitely love at first sniff and I don't know what it is that I'm smelling. I smell vanilla and some tropical floral. This is beautiful, you guys. Dialogue with Venus. It is a vanilla, powdery, sweet, and musky scent. It's vanilla, peach, musk, elang elang, sandalwood, and seawater. So what I smell is this beautiful, powdery, vanilla, fruity, a little bit of tropical floral. Okay, this is beautiful. This one doesn't smell like anything that I have. Yeah, this is really good. I don't know how to describe it. This is a uh, perfume on its own. If you like sweet, powdery scent with a hint of floral, go get it. But this one doesn't smell like anything that I could think of from my perfume collection. This one is full bottle worthy for sure. So the next perfume that I'm so curious is from, because this is her favorite, from Falman. It's called Mika di Oro. This one's a little bit funny smelling, like it's a little bit unique. It's very different. I don't know what it is I'm smelling. Um, I think it's a Mel Almond. Okay, so this is rum, whipped cream, and vanilla. Okay, I don't smell that. That's not what I'm smelling. What I'm smelling is like a beautiful vanilla powderiness, but it also have that like indolic jasmine like, like toothbrushy feel, but it's not coming from jasmine. I don't know what it comes from. Maybe there is a hidden notes of jasmine, but it has that like toothbrushy feels. You could also describe it as an almond powder. Yeah, so I'm sorry, I don't smell the notes that they claim. What I'm smelling is this like warm vanilla, ambery vanilla, I guess. So the warm must have come from the rum, but there is some indolicness jasmine in here. It does smell a little bit in the toothbrush feel. So I for sure love Dialogue with Venus way more than Mika Dioro. But Mika Dioro, if you like those powderiness like almond powder in the toothbrush form, not so sweet, uh, slightly warm and ambery, you're gonna love it. Okay, so next, this is one of the popular perfumes that a lot people on Facebook groups are talking about. I was so curious about this and I was so thankful when she sent me this. This is called Epico Fanny Chanel. Okay, so this is beautiful. This is syrupy sweet. All right, so the notes are Candied fruits, fruity notes, lemon, peach blossom, white flowers, vanilla, caramel, benzoin, and musk. Yeah, what I smell is vanilla, caramel, benzoin, and fruits. This is along the line of Mason Mataha Escapade Gourmand. 
but it's different. That one is ice cream. This one has fruits in it. So yeah, but it's along the same line as Escapade Gourmand. It's the same level of sweetness. It's the same level of caramelliness. So it's comparable, but it's different enough. So out of the three that I tried today, I really like Dialogue with Venus and Epico Fanny Charnel. So this two made it to my wish list right away. Another one that I'm so curious about is this called Fanil from Place the Slice. Okay, I'm sure I butcher the name, I'm sorry. But I know that this is a super I think it's an expensive one. It's definitely a niche. This is another warm vanilla. These are really, really good. All four of these are really good. All right, so this is tangerine, lemon, strawberry, woody notes, and vanilla. It's mainly vanilla and woodiness and some fruits, some citrus. I really like it. So I really like all four of these, to be honest. If I rank from my f most favorite to my least favorite, my most favorite is uh, Dialogue with Venus from Pierre Goulam. This is a beautiful vanilla powdery with floral base. I think this is so yummy. It's, yeah, so it's along the same line as like if you like heliotrope, powderiness, vanilla, vanilla powder with floral. This is so good. This is my favorite. My next favorite is Epico Farni Charnel from similar to along the same line as Gourmand Escapade. This is so good. Um, it has more fruits compared to Gourmand Escapade. The third one that I like is Place the Slice Fanil. This is a uh, warm vanilla. It just smells like a warmer, like embery version of Vanille West Indies. You know, it's along that line. Um, so, but Vanille West Indies comes across as like a more simple vanilla. Whereas this one has a little bit hint of Grand Soir in it, you know. It has a warmer version of Vanille West Indies. And alas, is Mika Dioro from Falman. This one you have to like indolic jasmine like, like toothbrushy feel for you to enjoy this. So if you like a not so sweet almondy powder perfume like Tardis or Penhaligon Equinox Bloom, um, that toothbrushy vanilla vibe, then you're gonna love this one. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.